Okay, Carlo, so what's your plan for this pond? Well, it's become very overgrown and a lot of species have sort of taken over. And I think the best thing we're going to have to do first, just to find them where the pond actually is, is remove all the ivy, especially around this section here, and push it back up. But leave that big clump. And you said what, that. the nettles? No, no, the ivy. Oh, the ivy. Oh, what? So ivy's good as well? Isn't it's, it? it's great. It's great ground cover. It's very good for a lot of uh, butterflies. But um, it's, it? it's taking over here. So I'm thinking I would like to like kind of open up the pond again to see what we've got in there. This big grass here, we're going to have to work out. It's gotten quite big, but it's keeping the water very clear. Normally you'd see most ponds become very algae ridden, but this really clear pond, it's not got much water, so we definitely need to top it up. Oh, we've got the, the water back yeah. there. So we we'll definitely, once we've cleared all of this, we'll fill her back up today and hopefully we'll have some more rain to fill back up the pot. And then, yeah. But I think, yeah, today we're going to remove a lot of the ivy, find out where what's how much space we've got in our pond remove some of these nettles because they're just going to keep keep growing but i'd like to leave a little patch over here because it's some of the favorite food of certain caterpillars and i can even see from over here you've got some cat there's a caterpillar inside of that little mm. twist of hairs and um i put a little silt so there's another one here so the birds have been happy yeah but they definitely will i mean whether they'll come and eat these directly but the more caterpillars, the more happy happy birds you'll have. So it's popping along and it's just popping up. Yeah. I mean, we'll leave the lemon bar. You said it's got underground roots. Yeah, it, gets, it sends out shoots and it will it'll just keep coming up so we can get rid of it. I mean, I think, I think the balance is us being able to actually see the pond yeah. and, and enjoy it, but without destroying too much habitat. No, exactly. I think that's why it'd be good, like, while we do all these projects, we do it section by section. So today we're going to work on the pond. And then sometime next week we'll move on to other sections of the garden and deal with other things that have taken over. And, and then also I've done a little list of you know good pond species that we can bring here because you don't really have anything going on in the pond. So I was thinking because we've got a shallow pond, some marginal species like Aquamentha watermen, really loved by butterflies. Ooh. I was in a Scottish okay. lock once and uh, the whole banks were covered in this little mint and as you walked by you could smell the mint and butterflies were everywhere. So I think that would be a really good species. Never heard of that, that's good. Yeah. And, um, oh, this is going to be just fantastic. Okay. Oh, I wonder what that is. It's a little ladybird of sorts. Oh, ladybirds are getting They're the aphids, they? They're good to eat the aphids. Yeah. And yeah, you also have some brambles coming here. You haven't planted these, these are not like a blackberry. Brambles uh, are the, the crop that would, um, brambles and nettles would probably take over if we completely yeah, abandoned. Yeah. You know, if you look at most of the scrub grass, the grass around here, it reverts to scrub very quickly. Normally, it's brambles that yeah. do that. So yeah, we'll definitely get rid of the brambles where we see them. But we can always leave a, a you know, like far off corner, just a little one, because again, really good for pollinators. And uh, you can always get a few blackberries off. Yeah, a few blackberries, and we've got elderberry, um, oh, elderflowers coming. We make elderflowers. Yeah. And I said, I think last time about the um, cleared out just about everything from its edges just so we can kind of get a good view of what we've got so also now we've got this really nice little natural bank which would be a really nice feature just to leave because it's normally you just pile stones up and the wildlife makes its way out but that's just really natural um oh there's a little robin again he's been busy he's been he's always as soon as i've stopped digging he's been playing around here looking for worms and so what you already found some then um... so we've got some frogs in there Oh, there's, there's the frog. Where, 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 where? Right there. Oh, there he is! And yeah. then I definitely saw I saw some tiny toes, but I haven't seen them since. But I've made a lot of disturbance, so a little bit of quiet now for them would be really good. And, and you say we come out at night now? Yeah, if, what I want to do tonight is um, well, I'm going to clear some of the debris, then we're going to fill it up to as far as it will go, and then see what will spill out. But tonight, if you come out, when it's dark. Oh, you mean fill out with fresh water? Oh yeah, spring, yeah, yeah. That's, that's rainwater. Okay. And then, you know, let it settle so we can get a good idea of the level. So then we can start choosing our species of plants we want to add to the pond. But if you come out tonight around 10, okay. everything should have settled and you might be able to get a glimpse of all the little animals in there. But um, also we're probably going to remove some of this. I'd say about half of it. I think it will be good just to get rid of this, you... this whole thing. That bit will keep growing. I don't think we should remove it until we've got other pond plants in there just because it's quite a bit of okay. cover 
So we're going to make some decisions about pom plants. Yes. When we yeah. have our I've tea. got a little list. We've got but, a little um, list. Because uh, we'll we're going down Paradise Park tomorrow, so. Perfect. There was, there was some ivy in there. That's probably not helping much, is it? It's no, probably I best think out. <laughs> as much as we can, we'll get out as much as we can, but there's bits where it's rooted into the under here. Yeah. So I don't really want to disturb all of the, the this. No, 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 no quite. So really we'll just cut it all back, and then as. But if, we, if we're going to do as you said and keep a, a, a walkway along there, then yeah. we can keep the ivy down. We can yeah, see exactly. it and keep it back. As it comes, we just cut it back out. Yeah. That's easy done. Okay, lovely.